guys, it's ETA Prime here. I'm going to show you how to install Android 4.4 on your Raspberry Pi 2. It's a slow build, but at least it's running. There's no um, graphical acceleration yet. So what you need is your SD card. Um, ignore these here. These probably won't show up on yours. This I'm doing this on a Mac, but it'll work pretty much the same way on a Windows PC. First, you need to format your SD card. Um, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to run to... should have had this set up. Utilities. We want to go to Disk Utility. So now this is my... Erase it's, it needs to be fat. So if you're doing it on a window um, computer folder and just go to format and format it as fat. Okay, so now that that's formatted, what we're gonna need to do is download Berry Boot. So we'll go to Just search on Google here, but I'll have the link in the description. We're using Berry Boot version 2.0 bootloader. And you want to make sure that you download Berry Boot for the Raspberry Pi 2. And if it doesn't start, I always just hit it. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. So it auto extracts for me already so what I want to do is just drag it to my desktop and go ahead and close this out like I said the link for the download is in the description so what you want to do is just go ahead and copy all of these and place them on the root of your SD card Now that we've done this, we're just going to run to the Raspberry Pi and we're going to insert the SD card. Alright guys, back here again with the uh, Raspberry Pi 2. So this is the screen after it initially boots up after you've inserted your SD card. I'm using Wi-Fi. And I'm just searching for anything will really work I was just looking for something in America all right and I wanted my audio through my HDMI I just left it on auto it's gonna go ahead and load the drivers uh, this is setting up your network now I'm using a wireless connection wired also works um, wireless does not work with an Android and I do not have a long enough Ethernet cable to reach my Raspberry Pi from my router so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here all right now it's gonna um, connect to my Wi-Fi and I'm using the internal SD card make sure it's ext4 Go ahead and finish writing the files to the disk. Now, Berry Boot is very useful. Um, if you really don't know how to load an image file on an SD card, there's a few operating systems that you can download through Berry Boot as long as you have a Wi Fi or a wired connection. So it's formatting the data partition right now. takes a second and it should be done right about now alright so here is the uh, installable operating systems through Berry Boot I'm gonna go ahead and choose my Android KitKat download 
Now, I put this on super speed, so it took about 15 minutes to download. So you want to go ahead and click on your Android KitKat. I didn't do any memory split. I want to set this as my default operating system. All right, set my default. And I'm going to go ahead and boot. It's going to load all the modules. And the first boot is a doozy. So it took about, I'd say, four minutes to boot. First boot. Now this build is super slow, but we know we can get it running faster. It's a 4.4 KitKat, Raspberry Pi 2, and here it is. I have another um, video coming up on just a couple little things that are included with it. As you can see, the UI is super slow, but thanks for watching and subscribe.